let's talk a little bit uh, about last year um, yep. and, and what happened with the Kansas City Chiefs and how things started to just catch fire for you guys towards yep. the end. What what did click for this team upon, you know, um, we all know about what the offseason changes and things of that nature, but what do you think mm-hmm. did click for the Kansas City Chiefs that, that, that got you a ring, Orlando? Yeah, I, I mean, I think in the sport of football, man, you know, especially when you're – a team that's got a quarterback like 15, um, I think it's important not to peak too early. And so often, you know, we see teams come out firing in September, firing in October, and by the time they get to January, they aren't the same team that they were then. And um, I think Coach Reed, uh, the staff, uh, 15, everyone did an amazing job all year staying the course. We were battle-tested. We had been in some very uh, tough games, some dog fights. But we were battle tested and we just understood, you know, the, the assignment and understood what we needed to do. And I feel as though throughout the season, throughout each week, we just got hotter and better and hotter and better and hotter and better. And I feel like we personally, we, we played our best game uh, in Super Bowl 57. And it, as I said, it was, it was a real tough year, you know, as far as, you know, some of the, the losses that we had and even some of the wins we had, you know, the, to be able to win that AFC West championship in, in Houston was crazy. I mean, that was a dogfight. That that game was was insane, and, and you know you see kind of the way that it ended. But um, man, I mean, and there were so many different games like that throughout the season that really tested us, and 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 we were able to prevail. What was uh, fifteen? You referred to Mahomes as, by his uniform number. What was oh, yeah. he? What was he like coming back in the huddle after he hurt his ankle, and you knew something significant had happened? Yeah, I mean, he kind of you know you kind of felt that energy on the sideline. Um, you know, I mean, it was just like. Pat's one of the most fiercest competitors, and it's the reason it's the reason he's the number one player in this league because of the way that he competes and the way that he approaches the game. And he's got a ton of faith in his work ethic. So coming in that huddle, I mean, it was just kind of understood. Like, hey, man, this is we're here for a reason. Uh, we didn't come to play in the Super Bowl. We came to win it. Uh, nothing much, honestly, not much was said except for at halftime there. And I mean, it's just, it's like, like I said, it's just one of those things, man. You kind of understood, you know, we had been tested all year. Uh, 15 had been de- dealing with his ankle. And I mean, man, it's just, you know, he, he's one of the, he's one of the most fiercest competitors I've ever been around in my life. You got an example of that? Cause you know, we're hearing more and more about that um, as, as the winning and the championships now are beginning to pile up now that yeah. it's multiple. You got a good example of, of, of his competitive spirit? Orlando. Yeah, big time, man. I mean, I think you know, take football aside. You know, they they play a little bit of a play a little bit of a basketball in a locker room, and it's nothing seriously competitive. But uh, Pat's gonna make it competitive, and he's real big on winning. Um, me and Joe Tooney are elite at beer pong, elite, elite teammates. Okay, and uh, this is something that that we play pretty often. And going against Pat and Trav, I mean, Pat's not going out without a fight. <laughs> and, uh, it's something that, you know, the mentality and the mindset that he kind of carries throughout life and everything that he does, uh, whether that be in the film room, hmm. whether that be something silly like bingo. Um, I mean, it's, it shows up uh, day in, day out. When you say elite, uh, what what's the example of uh, what does an elite beer pong player look like? <laughs> I mean, what do you got? What's elite? What's your, uh, what's, man, what, I mean, what do you got? From like, you? I mean, man, just the consistency and the shots dropping. Consistency. Um, Playing tit for tat, playing off of each other. I miss a shot, he makes it. I make okay. a shot, he makes it. Balls are back. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, not necessarily complicated, but <laughs> it's kind of what goes into it. Okay. And then uh, last one for you on the Chiefs here. Uh, did you know that what was a holding call on Bradbury? Um, did you see it? Was the play in front of you on Juju, or or you were just uh, you were obviously uh, otherwise engaged and then saw a flag mm-hmm. on the field? In the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those situations where, uh, man, I, I want to say uh, Pat was kind of like falling back, mm-hmm. and I just remember I, I can't remember how it necessarily transpired. I remember grabbing Pat, and he's like holding, pointing, holding, and I look over and it's a flag, and so I look at Philly sideline to see their initial reaction. Their heads are down. I'm like, oh snap! So it's obviously on the de- defense, and um, man, I mean, he comes back in the huddle. He's like church mode, church mode. You know, I think next play, Jet McKinney kind of slides right there at the one. Um, we were taking knees and trying to get the get the uh, ball centered up. I mean, it was it was crazy. How so that taking knees is called church mode in Kansas yeah, City. So, is that what you're saying? Yeah, church yeah, mode? church mode. Yeah, church mode is like 
uh, situation where you don't want to score. Um, mm-hmm. Don't ask me where it started. That's more of a question for uh, Coach Reed. Okay, Coach Reed. <laughs> but, uh, got it. All right, but, uh, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so but right score. away, right away, the clock management math was done uh, oh. on the spot, so everybody knew, and so it wasn't just McKinnon. Uh, having a dawn on him around the two yard line to slide down in bounds, it was it was it was reminded in the huddle prior to all of that. Is what you're saying? Oh, big time, big time! And I don't okay. ever want to take credit away from any player. Sure. But, I mean, it's the NFL, man. Normally, all of those situations are practiced. Got it. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 